let's begin our unit on relativity. Relativity is actually divided into two separate theories, the theory of special relativity and the theory of general relativity. Both theories were developed by Albert Einstein, a name I'm sure you know. First, let's figure out what the difference between special and general relativity is. First of all, special relativity deals with space-time, which is the medium which the universe is constructed of, that is, according to special relativity. General relativity, on the other hand, is a theory of gravitation. Consequently, general relativity deals with things on the astronomical scale, so very large things. This includes black holes, pulsars, and quasars. Special relativity deals with things on the atomic scale and has profound impacts on quantum physics. In general, the math behind special relativity is simpler than that of general relativity. Also, it's a little bit easier to understand, so we'll be spending much of our time talking about special relativity. Now let's consider the term relativity. Obviously, this comes from the word relative. So what does relative mean in this context? In the theory of relativity, relative refers to relative motion, which is the notion that if one person is here and another person is moving, they're in a state of relative motion. This person is moving relative to this person. If they're both moving, they're still relative motion, except if they're traveling in the same direction at the same speed at the same time. In this case, this observer would notice that this other guy wasn't moving with respect to him, so he would see no relative motion. This might seem silly, but let's say you're floating out in space, and your buddy is also floating out in space. You're moving away from each other, but you have no reference point by which to determine who's moving and who isn't. What does this mean for the laws of physics? According to the theory of relativity, it means nothing, because the first postulate of relativity states that the laws of physics are the same for all observers in uniform motion relative to one another, which means it doesn't matter which of you is actually moving. As we'll see in the next few lectures, this principle has many implications. However, it's important to note that uniform motion means that neither observer is accelerating. In the next lecture, I'll cover the second postulate of this theory of special relativity.